Alright gamers, we actually got some new news video coming right here. Of course, they're gonna mute that out really quick. But of course, we actually got some brand new stuff in here for our brand new news video, our newsletter for JP, actually for JP side for um twenty for uh, March of twenty twenty um, four. I don't know why my brain just cooked up for a second. But yeah, it's mainly on JP side, which I assume is probably gonna be on global side as well at some point. Probably gonna be talking about the same stuff. Cause the last few newsletters, I think the last one I did, I didn't have to make a new no no, it was global. It was global because global just got there, so I wanna say February, March, they just got theirs. I gotta go back and look up when I updated, when I made that video because um I forgot which day I made it, though, but I think it was February going on to March or it was already March. I, I I've been recording so much stuff. A lot of videos are behind though right now. A lot of my like anniversary videos are behind, so I'm gonna upload those first. Get those in out of the way. Of course, I'm gonna upload this stuff. But of course, I'm happy. I'm ready to go for the JP newsletter though. We have a whole bunch of new stuff, and some new raw map updates, some new just general updates and stuff for Dokken that's coming up soon to the game. Um, but yeah, I'm not gonna spoil that, so let's jump right into it though, of course. Of course, thank you to Doken World for the info. Of course, thank you to Koresh, thank you to Doken Official, thank you to um, Toon, I believe. Doken Assets, all the big Doken that he got for um, all this info. I really could not find it because it's you guys. Thank you so much, though, of course. But yeah, of course, we got the brand new Super Easy A. The first Super Easy A, of course, was the Goku. That was obvious. We knew he was coming up. See the very first new one for the newsletter. Uh, we got some more new interesting stuff right here talking about and explaining over uh, the Easy A's for um, the Super Easy A's. Um, so this is how his graphic is gonna be. So they usually like because he he just got his easy on JP for the anniversary. So yeah, this is how it's regular it's for easy A. This is how it's gonna be for the super easy A. It seems like it though. And of course I'll always probably get there soon. So it was like a new um super a new difficulty for the easy A. It's pretty much going up to super now, it's gonna be purple. Um it'd be cool if it goes like to stage for like forty five and like fifty, it'd be kinda cool. But I think it's usually just goes up to ten though. We are gonna get brand new medals for Goku, like it won't use old medals, he would use brand new medals. I did make that in a recent short. I think I already uploaded it already though. Yeah, I did. So I was talking about that. Um so yeah, again, this is how the graphic is gonna be for the normal one. This is how it's gonna be when it's super easy. Yeah, so it's a little bit different. Different different. Like a, a different I say different, you know, a little bit different though, of course. Uh, of course, we got some new roadmap updates up here. Of course, we got Goresh talking about all the info right here for the um, stuff. So just like all the just all like, pretty much the roadmap info we got, and it does feel very, very, very simple and easy. And just some update stuff that's pretty much it. Honestly, not like oh this is coming to global. Oh this is coming to JP. Oh this will happen. That will happen. Just a few little update stuff though. So pretty much right here says that we got some function stuff for 2024 for March to April, which again we I got a whole month already here. So um, I literally got a whole entire month here. So yeah. That's actually pretty good. But yeah, of course, let's go for um, March or April slash April of 2024. Function addition update regarding um up, uh, update um regarding awakening. Um, we got some refurbished stuff right here. So it's Doken um, story UI. So it's like that's gonna be updated. Of course, Doken adventure, Doken story adventure. New so like the chapters and stuff are gonna be updated in the game, which we already seen. Um, of course, we got some teams. We got some June. Of course, we got some July stuff. Of course, August. Of course, just games are gonna sync up. It's all linked toward the ten year again. I guess probably go like updates, UI stuff, some changes, like some maybe like a change or two, like maybe like physical Goku box pass it for global. It's gonna come over to JP's. It's probably gonna be just like that. Like all the global school stuff is gonna come over to JP and vice versa. Um, again, I just I feel like they just it would be better if the games were like that. To like both have the same stuff at the exact same time. to get the stuff like how it is like. Global, I feel, I do feel like for global they should have the Goku Black physical passive. I know he's like old, oh, probably outdated at this point, but the physical Goku Black passive should be on JP as well, and just not on global. It does not feel fair, honestly. And like I said, I know we're getting to miss a foresight and stuff like that, of course, but it's better for both games. Catching up, being on the same exact page, being on the same exact stuff again. It's gonna be probably different for Global and JP a little bit though, maybe, but I think the games are gonna be just fine the way they are. So I was like, oh, we're gonna lose the goals of global goals of tickets and stuff like that. I mean, does that really matter? I'd rather have the games be synced up than just lose the goal. I mean, it doesn't really matter to me anyway, so it's it's, it's whatever. Oh, we lose the global exclusive is exclusivity. Uh, blah, 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 blah. I mean, it, people can say that no matter what. So yeah, we got some team copy function, which is just explain this video enemy skill expect uh, uh just i'll say enemy skill um x ex expectation expectation damage skill the attack slash defense um change stat change skill more to be will be added after the other so pretty much like I said, it's gonna take us time it's gonna relax so like i said we'll probably get a newsletter to every little newsletter is gonna probably build up towards it maybe like there's a new dog fest something new function is gonna come up soon etc etc though since so allies which is good for this video because i can keep it in the background for like files or like in general i can just keep it in the background allies skill expansion 
uh, field effect, exp exp expansion, and um, more will be added. Um, one at the other data download, you know, here's the download improvement. So it looked like that I got data probably, you know, before or after a live stream. Like last year, we got um Goku during July for Tanabata. Uh, he came out really early, though. Of course, like I said, we got Frieza. We he came, he came out really early. We didn't know, like, we knew he was gonna come out at some point, but we didn't know he was gonna come out. He just came on the data download. I guess not gonna spoil too much of that anymore. I mean, it, it that's gotta get out no matter what you do. So, shop again, like I said, probably gonna improve on it though. But, like, I said, for the data downloads, are probably like more slicker. It'll have a little more JP at the same time. Again, I feel like it might be like 3 a.m. JP time, 3 a.m. Like, the bears will probably release. Like, how we have this dual celebrations again, like, down celebration, we'll probably get Goldman JP stuff like at 3 a.m. Same thing good for Goldman. They're actually pretty good at that though. Like, the Golden Week, um, Tana Bond, no, Golden Week, um, last year was actually pretty good. I like for the timing and everything because you know bears came out at 3 a.m. The celebration info came out like a, what like 8 p.m. 8 yeah 8 p.m. 11 p.m. They're usually pretty good with that with that though, so they can probably just keep doing that what they're doing. So yeah, shop um screen because they the thing and they do plan the whole year in Doken in advance like they have regions already ready to go and everything for like the year. So no, we don't know. Like, they they could have stuff planned already for like the next three years already for Doken. Like we never know. You never know what someone's doing though. So shop screen um. Oh, the shops are shops going to be updated. Um, retro, 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 re, renovation, renovation. So it's not like the shops going to get updated. I've seen already with the story event. So like I said it's just little stuff like this, like the update stuff. It's I feel like it's pretty much like the super easy A. The uh, that's going to come up soon. The shop is being updated a little bit. The chapters are being updated. It'll give a more clean UI stuff. It's just little stuff like that though. So don't, I'm not I'm not like oh my gosh they should have did this. But yeah, but yeah, introducing you SSR characters that can join your adventure. So new just new characters overall. Um, actually, I didn't see that down there, actually. What is this? I'm gonna go down really quick. I didn't see some of this. Probably, like, worldwide down celebration. I don't know. Weakness. I, I don't even know. Of course, updates. Yeah. Further updates. We plan for the anniversary. Like I said, they're pretty much thinking up. This like, say, UI updates. Little stuff. I, I kind of expected this. Like, UI updates. Some awakening updates. Maybe change some stuff around here and there. Making the game look more pretty. Up to 10 years. It, that's very simple and easy. What was this? Oh yeah, some of the new uh, UI stuff they were talking about. Yeah, right, 999. Look at that. Yeah, that that global way all right there. <laughs> yeah, it probably is like the new missions up, like the new missions, how it's gonna be structured. It does look more clean though, like, oh yeah, you know, be the first chapter, be the second chapter, be the third chapter, you get this and that and that. And these are the chapters as long as it's gonna be updated, like you get chapter one from the story event, chapter two. It's gonna be more organized and you know, you, you find like area one, ten, or like the link level staging more easier. That would be nice though. Like just get a more cleaner UI, honestly. And that looks really, really good. Explaining over the story, like, oh this chapter one trunks of this, chapter two, this is happening. Like the areas are getting updated. Like this is like this area is not just area one anymore, you know, it's chapter one. You know, we get like chapter one, area ten, you know, stage three, something like that. I feel like that's how it's gonna be. Like, oh yeah, like this is the third area. Uh, you know, the goal is just like four or five. So this is the, yeah, the cleaner UI, the more structured missions. I think this one's just copying like your teams and everything. So like the teams like being copied. I like, can copy like other teams, I guess from like other people around the world, just like your own boxes. Like you can just kind of copy and paste it. You know, you could take out units, you know, add some units here, here and there. It's probably just a copying team thing. Like you can kind of copy your team. Um, I just see that. Th I think I saw that copying your team and everything, like s setting a friend or something. Yeah, co yeah, team copy. Yeah, copying the team function. So yeah, that feels very, very different. They're like the skills being different and everything. So yeah, just, yeah, just, it's just you're copying your team. You're taking out this unit from that team, taking out this unit from that team. You know, adding them here, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. They're like copying a unit like while you're like on the page, while you're doing this. You know, and then again, for goal, this is gonna be like in probably like two or three months, and this probably is gonna be the next JP update. So we already knew it was coming up anyway on the eighth. So by the time I get this up and upload it, I might just upload this, honestly upload this right away. Honestly, so. Yeah, this in the next day or two, you know, it's gonna be a bunch of people gonna know all the info and everything. I'm gonna talk about it though, so I don't need to really explain it, but like, oh my gosh, because I know it's gonna be different. So, of course, we got the new roadmap stuff right here, of course, for Goresh. Thank you for all the info right here, because I'm probably gonna honestly, it's, I'm probably gonna just really like sk kind of skim this a little bit. The new roadmap, the new roadmap, ha blah, 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 the new roadmap has, um, providing it, um, leading up to the 10 year English translations are provided below. Um, note that this roadmap is only provides information on updates through August, but Abatsu states that the goal, their goal to continue um, implementing changes, improvements to the game beyond the, that point to make the game easier to play and easy. Yeah, because we know like missions have gotten more easier. You know, you can hold a lot more stuff. They've been doing. They said I mean I think they mentioned they were going to do it, making missions easier. Free is going to you know be easier. Link leveling, like I said, is probably going to be like no, not easier, but I think little stuff like that. I think it's not last year. I think. 
like you know, because I think Goresh mentioned that in some previous updates, like they're gonna make the game more easier for everybody, more free to play stuff, more stones. I believe I can't remember when the update was. Um, there will be um, there there were there were an overwhelming amount of requests from users to implement some sort of additional way to use easy aid characters who started aged out. So super easy able to um convert convert them. Uh, yeah, super super, super easy aids are pretty much that was um converted. You know, but on the development team, so we're talking about super easy A's. Super easy A's will be um, up implicated to duck and exclusive characters. The LR character, super easy A's are planned to impl implemented the into uh, pretty much I guess like, in the sequence of order. So pretty much it's gonna be Goku and Broly. Like again, they're gonna go in order pretty much, like how they did with the first. Like all the Dokkan came out super easy. The Goku, Broly, no matter what, go one JP, what time it came out, whatever. Super easy A's will train the characters' passive skills. We know about that. Super easy mails required. The mails required to super easy A character will be obtained through the super difficulty stages of an easy A stage. There will be missions that are will require you to clear certain stages under. Um, Different conditions to attain the medals as well. The icons of the characters that will be easy A will be changed, which we've already seen. The development team is also in the midst of preparing ways for older characters to be able to um, un, 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 pretty much make them attainable again, other than via like SA easy A's uh, details regarding to release in the future. So I guess you had to like go through the easy again, like oh yeah, you gotta do it to difficulty, but I guess it's gonna make it a little bit more easier, difficult, or I don't know. The first characters you receive super easy A will be Super Saiyan Goku, first release in 2015, first character received easy A in 2020, yeah, yeah, yeah. Quest mode will be receiving an update that will allow users to view a summary of events, which is cool though. That will be um, transmitted so far through the story. There will also be a summary page that will um, list the drop um, items of. Um, I'm just in a quest, which actually could be very cool. A uh, copy team feature is currently in the works for each stage. There will be a team tread button, which will display teams that users have used to clear certain um, events. You will be able to click a button that will copy the team build, copy the team build of your cho uh, of your choosing from the list of the challenge, the event, um, the list from the list to challenge the event, assuming. You have all necessary characters to do so. So, of course, pretty much, oh, yeah, you need this character, you need a boost, here you go, pretty much. So, it's really good there. There'll be planned um, to extend the amount of gimmicks, mechanics, character uh, as a certain on, in certain events. So, I guess we're going to double down on that now. Development teams will aim to continue um, coveting, coveting in events in which certain characters can be on. on until it is uh, effective against cross different teams, depending on their strengths. So some of the guys cut down like a lot of the advantage characters. It seems like that though. There will only be uh, gimmicks that nullify certain existing characters' mechanics, but mechanics that bring new experiences to the game will also be implemented. Of course, there will be new characters implemented, more easier deal with characters who introduce tougher, tough mechanics. Okay, not too bad though. Not too bad. Not too bad. So like I said, it's only up to ten year pretty much. Again, pretty much. Yeah, the copying team thing. Like I said, you know, like oh, we could copy mirror your lead. That's what people want in the game. We already know how that's gonna be. You know, function wise, it's not this though, it's just like I said, copying the team, uh, using like what you need necessary for the game. It, it, it's simple stuff like that. Like, oh, you know, you copy the team, but you need like, you know, it's just gonna give you the necessary unit you need that you have in your box. Of course, it's gonna add, um, they're gonna expand the gimmicks. So, so, like, oh yeah, they can easy it's tougher, easy. Oh, so it's gonna be a little more tougher as time goes on. Uh, we're gonna, of course, get more characters. Uh, gimmicks will not just change though, but characters like, you know, a busted kid or whatever probably won't be as powerful in an event though. Of course, Super Saiyan Goku Sing is easy A. Super Saiyan Goku Sing is easy A. Um, super easy A's. It seems like um, older characters, like I said, are just being pretty much updated now. That easy A previously, right now it's just gonna be certain. It's, uh, right now it's just gonna be Doku Vest units. I can't tell, um we seen already are gonna be like the, like the UI Goku. Oh yeah, look like he has a super easy A, but he has like a line now with them now. So like this, pretty much. He has a little line, so you know now we know how it is gonna be. Uh, passive skills and updates will be for the super easy A's. Will be. Um, a little bit different now, it could be tougher. Of course, it could be now it's just be talking about exclusive LRs. You no, know, like tech, we like for all we know, you know, tech. Um, Goku Black as well as could get one, they could be the most broken unit in the game or Goku Khalifa because all these old, like, even like some of these newer easy A's do kind of end up sucking though. But like I said, with the super easy A's now we can kind of see like what they're going to do with it maybe later on the road. Of course, some roadmap stuff and stuff like that. But yeah, it's pretty much everything I want to kind of cover gold today for the stuff though. But like I said, uh, like LRs and stuff like that, a lot of them don't need to update. 
like Ted Coco buckets also don't need it, but like so they could get one in the future. They say a lot, so that's a big factor to put in. Um, and in general, though, honestly, like in general, like we don't know what they're going to do with the update. Like, it's very, very simple stuff. Like, I have so many questions there right now, but, like, um, like I said, like, older units, like, you know, a lot of these EZAs, like, uh, the, the new bar that just came out for JP, he's base from, eh, but he's not getting other super EZAs, probably the best unit in the game to probably update a little bit of them. Like, like, STR Broly, he definitely needs a super EZA. We know Goku's going to get one. All these older Doku Vets units who got an EZA could be pretty much reworked, like, full power Frieza. He's already good, though, so you don't need to do too much for him, though, but, you know, he could use maybe a little bit more. I'm just putting out examples. It's just some more stuff, though, but like I said, we're going to get more updates, more stuff later down the road, more little stuff like that, but, of course, see you guys there, though. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Just in case I don't want the video going too, too long, I could just be on this all single day, talking about this every single day, bumping everything up, but like I said, once we get more updates, stuff, hopefully we get some more new stuff. I said, I said, I'm gonna talk about it, go over it. You know, it's gonna be more stuff like this in the future. I'm gonna talk about it and blah 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 blah. So I didn't, don't do waste my breath. I'll say for those videos, I'll say when that comes out and blah 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 blah, etc. etc. See you guys there, though. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Quite like, I'll go to again. Let me join. Stay safe. Watch hands. God bless all of you. Everyone out when we're a mask. So let's hope it really do that. If you can go outside, just got some cuppy and try all my friends and discourse. Hold it if you can wear. Guys are awesome. Wake up. Think about all the simple love. Of course, like hit again. Very simple, very easy, like I said though today. Um, but yeah. That's actually pretty good. Um, so far, like I said, roadmap's like, oh my gosh, no! Oh. But yeah, just new UI, some new functions, some new stuff coming up for global for JP. Eventually global at some point, but we know it's gonna be like two months or like a month or two. Global usually moves fast. We already got some of the power level bonuses. That's probably that was mainly from the anniversary stuff. So like, it's good global's getting that early. This will be like two, highly like a month or two. So global usually works fast on these though. So we never know. Stay out there though, okay though. Peace out.